Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from my lovely little Westlake Village, California. And let's jump into the price action. I'm going to talk about Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana, and uh, some of the economic data that came out. Rather uh, bullish for the dollar and bearish for the stock market. And uh, kind of what the idea I've been floating around here is that... Uh, we haven't necessarily decoupled yet. So let's start off with Bitcoin on the 15 minute time frame. Does look like it put in a bit of a reversal, um, bounced off the 200, broke through it, and this is the retest of the 200. I do think um, Bitcoin could get one more push back up to about 34.2, um, but does seem that pressure is on the downside at this moment and uh, basically looking for a shot back back to the bottom side of the range um, down here at about 33.5. The four hour time frame, yeah, 33.500. And essentially, as long as we are above uh, this area at 32.5, actually, let's. Let's get a little more confluence here, a little more confluence, a little bit more on the higher term time frames. Uh, what are we looking at here? So four hour momentum is crossed down, putting in a nice sell and uh, getting a decline in volatility while, well, we're still in a range. So essentially, uh, if we just range here sideways, that would be uh, good for the bulls. Good for the bulls. Um, we start to close below 33.2. Kind of the next drop down is going to be 32.2. And in general, um, as long as we're putting higher lows along the green 55, this could just be, um, you know, a bullish consolidation. Here is the, uh, the threatening thing to the market here is NASDAQ, which is now shot through uh, the box of peace and, peace and prosperity and death and despair, getting a bounce off this level. Um, do we come back and retest it, put in another lower high? That's a possibility. Four hour uh, momentum is maxed out. So yeah, I would, say that's more likely than not uh, from this pivot right here. And the economic data that came out today was jobless claims. Uh, okay, bearish for the dollar, lower than expected or um, higher, higher than expected in this case. So more people losing their jobs. That's what Powell wants. Okay, on the other side of the fence, this was the big number. GDP growth rate came in at 4.9%. How are we growing at 4.9% if we want inflation to go down? Big question there. Uh, core PCE, 2.4%. So lower than expected. PCE prices, 29 there. Overall, this was the number to watch today. It was the GDP. If GDP is going up, people are essentially uh, buying and selling more goods and services. So inflation is probably going to continue higher. And... Um, don't want to open that or that. I do want to take a look at that. Um, we'll take a look at the liquidation levels here in a second, but I want to take a look at the CME rate hike tool uh, where they forecast what's going to be, are they going to be hiking, spiking, hiking or spiking? Well, my internet's just lagging around here, lagging, lagging, lagging. Okay. Now there is November 1st, 96% chance that we stay the same. That's strange. And 3.9% um, chance that they cut rates. Current, they're not even pricing in a rate hike for November 1st. Let's take a look at this one. For December 13th, that, that could be the bear, uh, the bear news. If we have another rate hike, I think, you know, the Fed may start to break a few things. I don't know. Maybe they can let this inflation run forever. 
like the Japanese inflation. You know what? It's a good time to take a look at the yen because I imagine it's going down against the dollar. What do you know? And where was our, I don't think we had another target on this one, but if this, if this low breaks, I, I would imagine the yen bounces off this level. British pound hanging in there, probably gonna come take another leg down to this target right there at 119. And the euro also popping down. Bit of a bear flag and would have a you know pretty decent measure move down. Um, I think this is our overall target for the euro. And that does line up with Dixie uh, heading up to the target we had been talking about. But this is a bit of a bull flag, bull flag. And I, I guess it could go much higher depending on, you know, the dollar's not some, supposed to move as fast as it has been moving. So just some food for thought there. As the dollar goes up, risk assets tend to go down. Uh, the S&P also almost fulfilling the head and shoulders uh, that we called out some time ago. And very similarly, this price action, uh, if Bitcoin does something like this and breaks the range low, pops back up, rejects the green 55, closes below the purple 200, that's kind of your um, signal that, you know, things might be cooling off for a little bit after oh, a pretty massive pump off the lows here. How much did we get off of this pump? And we have not ticked below yesterday's low yet. And are we giving it up? We're giving it up here on, looks like uh, Bitcoin on the shorter term time frame. No, it's not giving up the ghost yet. We'll get into Ethereum in a second. But volatility is now uh, maxed out. And we did say this, a correction likely to occur as the four hour volatility begins to decline following up on the, I don't know, that's that's what I said, our first warning sign that, hey, price action could be cooling off here a bit. Now, volatility resets and, um, you know, we see that forum momentum cross back to the upside above 34,846. 34,846, where is that going to be? That's going to be pretty much the last major high. Why don't we mark that off? And if this is going to be a bull flag, then we, I mean, look at the measure move. It's, it's too early to tell, too early to tell in my opinion. But I would say uh, back above 38, back above this level, uh, likely to carry on some more to the upside um, and get, you know, and, and these waves happen in threes, right? So one, two, three, and now we're cooling off. So where can a pullback come? All the way down to 31.5. Um, definitely a possibility there. I'd say as long as we don't um, start to close dailies back below this level, which was the overall range. So two important levels to watch. 34.8 to the upside if you're bullish. And I would say after this, what, six month consolidation here, this level, yeah, 31.5 going to be uh, pretty critical if we don't hold that level. And where does that show on the weekly time frame? Call it 30,000 bucks on the weekly. Are we going to get another week of green? Very possibly. This, this is lining up for a good October. And volatility is now expanding. We'll remain up as long as we're above 27,000 bucks. So I would say... Um, on the daily, 31,480 important pivot. Um, on the four hour, and that's to the downside. And on the four hour, uh, back to the upside, start closing four hours and volatility begins to expand again. Another point for the bears when the PMARP does this uh, from a high level, typically gonna lose some steam and head south for a bit. Um, Okay, Ethereum, really quick. I want to check in on Mr. Ethereum. And that does look like a pretty good M formation. Target down to about 1700 bucks. Uh, looks good to me. Looks good to me for a test down on the four hour. 
Yes. Um, now, uh, invalidation is going to be back above this wick here at 1871. Looking healthy uh, for a downside move. Tether dominance, popping its head up here as tether dominance goes up. Well, altcoins typically go down. Bitcoin dominance also cooling off a bit here, um, possibly because they're moving into tether. And if you got that chain link trade, is the four hour four hour is going to close in about 22 minutes here. So, um, yeah. So Ethereum at a glance looks like it wants to maybe pop down there and fill in this high volume candle. Somewhere around 1700 bucks. As long as Ethereum is above that level on the daily, um, going to be okay. And what else do we say? Solana. Let's take a look at Solana. Solana Lana. Uh, short term target down to about 3016. Uh, invalidation back above this pivot at 3339. And interestingly enough, on the 15 minute time frame, I did notice a bit of a death cross. So what do I expect? A test into the death cross, maybe even a slight test above it at about 3183 um, in the short term. But I think that uh, it lines up with a few other things if you're looking for a downside move on Mr. Uh, Solana's here. You got this trend line coming in here. One. Two. Uh, weak bounce up to the 382. So bounce, strong bounce can come all the way up to 3230. Uh, as long as we are closing those 15 minute time frames below this level. I'd say pressure's on to the downside. Um, what else do we want to check out? So pressure onto the downside target. I mean, kind of the next target down is just filling in maybe uh, this this area right here. Yeah, about 30, 3016. That's where I'd say it'd be good for a bounce. Um, 3016. And let's see if that lines up with anything on the Fibonacci retracement tool. So kind of some things coming into confluence here. You know, if the bounce fails and we get a strong rejection off of that death cross, remember the first death cross is usually not the one to get it. It's the second. So, um, and vice versa, golden cross. So here is the first golden cross for... I mean, we're, we're really getting back here, back, back when it was $21. Everybody remember that now we're up at 30 bucks. So for it to retrace and kind of give back some of the phenomenal gains last week, you know, um, I think would be okay. I think, I think after this massive pump there, there may be, um, maybe the market maker wants to move it back down to this level. But as long as, yeah, as long as we're above 25, uh, generally, I think we're good. Um, I think we're going to be good on this one. What else do I want to say about uh, Solana? Solana. So it does look like it is kind of slowly slinking around here. Solana has their big event coming up here. So it's usually... Buy the rumor, sell the news. Buy the rumor, sell the news. Buy the rumor, sell the news. Right? That's usually the case. So, um, and usually, I mean, typically after Solana's event is a bit of a sell-off. Everybody gets all pumped into it and dumped after it. All right, that's it out of me today, guys. I hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. I will check back in with you tomorrow. Take care.